Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be the next part of our Breath of the Wild Let's Play series. Today's episode is just gonna be a chill episode where we collect shrines. So sit back, relax, and just enjoy the gameplay. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, it'll help out the channel a lot. And with that being said, let's get into the game. Yeah, right at the end of the last episode, um, we were opening up all the amiibo chests and stuff like that, and we didn't get anything good. So we're gonna just do that again real quick, see if our luck improves so i'm just gonna speed through these amiibos and hope for the best the knight's broadsword that's uh not great a knight shield that's not bad i wouldn't i wouldn't be disappointed but i have the hylian shield right now which is literally the best shield in the entire game <laughs> so <laughs> there's not much of a point in having any other shield <gasps> hey we got something cool it's not what i exactly want because i would like some armor but it's a it's a special item that you can get from one of the amiibos. It's the Sea Breeze Boomerang. Hell yeah. Give me some tunics. Or a cap. Or the trousers. Wait a minute. Uh okay. Never mind. I thought I I thought I got the exact same pair that I already have, but I don't. They look exact like pretty much very similar. Like this this is the trousers of the wind, and then these are the trousers of the of time. They're both white, but the boots are different. I do like the tr the trousers of time better, so I can wear those. That's kind of cool. But I would like a cap or a tunic, so we could get another uh, set of the wind here, possibly. But we didn't. This is the last one that we can get something special out of. Come on, and this is the this is the one that I want. It's the it's either the trousers of twilight, the tunic of twilight, or the cap of twilight. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh! Dang it. Well, this, I suppose this, uh, session wasn't terrible, because I got the trousers of time, but I'm still a little bit let down, just a little bit. Okay, so the goal is going to be getting a bunch of shrines, and we have one marked here, and that's it. <laughs> There's one half-completed one over here, so we'll have to do that one, but actually, let's do that one first. Why not? Let's go. Okay, what do we need to do? Path of Hidden Winds. Basically, we just need to glide around. We Oh, I didn't quite make it. Ouch. That is rude. We need to die for that. Where do I go? Oh, I think this is the puzzle. You need to go around. Yeah, it's hidden. Trying to prank me, but not this time. Hello there. Give me your soul. There it is. I see you. I'm coming for you. Oh, there's another one over there, too. I see it. But I cannot currently put a pin on it because I'm flying. Um, maybe I can find it on the map? It's probably over here somewhere. Put a pin there. So I think once we get to this shrine, there's going to be some, like, stuff surrounding it. So, if, like, you see it's, like, on the top of a hill. And I'm pretty sure it's surrounded with, like, uh, spiky vines. So you can't get through it. But as long as I have... Oops. That's not what I meant to do. As long as I have some, like, fire arrows which I do, um, that should solve the thing. But if it starts raining, then I'm just kind of screwed because then I won't be able to set them on fire. That's when Ravali's Gale will come in handy. Oh, God. That was close. Oh, hello, lizards. Prepare to die. Oh. Boom. Hiya. I missed, and he got a good hit in. That usually doesn't happen. Here, let me just shoot you in the face. Oh. We just uh, traded traded hits. Not the best performance of fighting I've ever had in my life, but I'll take it. All that matters is I survived and they didn't. All right, let's use a good old Ravali's Gale to get over here. Makes things a bit easier. Get my fire arrows. Oh, there's more lizards. Let's off hose. Oh no. Let's shoot that. Hello, man. Die. He dodged me. Not anymore. Yes. Burn vines, burn. Haha. -ha. Oh, I remember this shrine. This one was very, very confusing for me to figure out for some reason. You just push this around. That will rotate all the way, I believe. And hit that, and then water will come up. Alright, the water's coming up. So now I believe what I need to do is use this to get over here to this lever switch thing, whatever you call it. And then what I'm going to do is place a bomb right there. That works. We're going to put this one, like, right here. 
Now, I don't know if this is the actual way to solve this, or if I'm just, like, cheesing it. But either way, it works. So, I need to come over here. To the other side. And while this water is raised, this gate is shut, so I can't get through. So, actually, one bomb should fix it. But the multiple bombs, I think I can use them to get a chest or something like that if it's still over there it's possible that they just got like launched by the other bomb so i yeah now i put that down so the gate is open the bomb is no longer there but i don't care enough <laughs> so that chest right there what you're supposed to do is have a bomb there and then once the bomb explodes and you're over in this section over here the water raises up and then you use cryonis you raise the water up and then you climb up and you grab the chest but i don't care <laughs> that takes too much time may the goddess smile upon you how nice okay let's head towards this one because there is a shrine in that general area it may not be right there but i saw it earlier so let's find it we're going on a berry hunt except it's a shrine hunt Ah, oh, there's the shrine. We shield surfing. Are these guys still chasing me? Oh, yeah, they are. Die. I'm gonna just take your horse. Ah, oh, speaking of horses, this is a stable. So I can grab my own horse. Ha ha ha. Thanks for your assistance, horse. I will leave you to your endeavors. Shields from water. Hey, buddy. You're dead. If I had to guess, this chest probably has like a... An opal or a ruby in it or something. Okay, I was completely wrong. It's an ancient core. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Let's go. Okay, we made it. Now we need to find some more shrines. So, I know there's a, for a fact, there's one right here. Let's do that one. That one's a bit more of a, like, a quest type of thing. And it's slightly annoying to do. But we'll take it on. I ain't gonna run away from a challenge. Alright, we're approaching this area. And this is where the shrine is gonna be. But... In the distance, there's some, like, colorful balls. I don't know if you can see them, but... In there, if you hit the balls in some pedestals up in that middle area up there, it will reveal a shrine. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The only annoying part about this thing is, is that it's constantly raining. So when you need to climb, it's very, very, very annoying. <laughs> oh, also, it's storming. So if you have any metal stuff on you, you gotta take it off. Alright, so basically we just need to hit this thing really hard and there it goes all right um there's another one of those somewhere there's that one but that one's easy the green one there's a purple one that's already in there but i believe there's like a yellow one orange yellowish orange and this should be the last one that's actually like annoying to get what is this a sneaky river snail it sure did sneak up on me <laughs> I'm just gonna use Revali's Gale because it's way easier. I'm not climbing up this thing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pick this up, set it right here. Do not fall off. Boom. Stasis. Go, my friend. Fly. Yes, good job. They made it. All right, basically, you just look at those symbols. That one's red. You put it in there. <laughs> easy like that. I missed. Oh my god! That's a metal thing, and it almost freaking killed me because it was getting struck by lightning. Dang it. Rude. Did I not solve this puzzle? Oh. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh my god. Pick it up. Set it down. Thank you. Jeez. And that's the whole shrine. Like, it's, it's not a hard puzzle at all. It's just the rain makes it annoying, and that's it. So this shrine... Literally, you just blow shit up. <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Let's bring this up with me. Oh, there is a bit more to it. Oh, but not really that much. I just need to blow more shit up. <laughs> I just need to blow this up and then use this metal block to put on that big-ass thing. The pedestal right here. Next shrine down. Let's see. I'm trying to think where other shrines could be. I mean, I did, I did just find a new one by coming to this one. Uh, I saw one in the distance, and I put a pin on it. So, we can go to that one. Um, let's just go back to the tower, so we can get a nice glide straight to the shrine. Alright, there's the shrine. Get over here. 
There's also shrines inside Korok Forest, which I'm going to need to do anyways at some point, because I need to get to the Master Sword. So that's probably a good idea. I can head to those. Hello, big blob. Die. Oh, this shrine right here. <laughs> so, you see there's some complicated stuff here. You're supposed to put the ball down on that. It shoots it over there. And then it shoots it over there. And then you hit that lever. And then that spins. And then you got to move it. And then you launch yourself over here. Stuff like that. And um, But I'll, I'll show you a, a, a different technique. I'm going to take this. I'm going to stand right here and face opposite this way. About here should work. And then I'm going to jump and then attack. See? The ball just went right in there. I missed, but I should be able to get it in there somehow. Or maybe I just screwed this up. You get the gist, but I think I screwed this up. <laughs> Uh-oh. So this technique, if you did it right, you could just get it to fall right in here and problem solved. You don't even have to worry about it. But I messed up. It's me, all right? I'm gonna mess something up at some point. Okay. Um, let's go and find the, uh, the tower for this area, which I don't think it's that one, because I'm pretty sure this one is for the top left area over here. It's got to be over here somewhere. I, actually, I'm pretty sure it's like right here, because I remember there's a tower right underneath Korak Force, which is about right here. So if I head about here, I should find it, and then I can scour the area for more shrines. But there is a stable right here, so I'm going to go get my horse to make the trip quicker. Hello, person. Give me horse. Hello there, horse. Good to see you again. Ah, there, there is the thing. Let's see how close I was. Okay, I was pretty close. That's pretty decent. I'll give myself a pat on the back for that one. Horse, you're probably about to become useless. So, thank you for your assistance. I will be gone. I'll be on my way. Alright, let's take the shortcut way. We. I don't know why, but on my second playthrough... I th swear I remembered blowing up um, this, like, big rock thing that's covering this tower. So I s just kept shooting bomb arrows at it. <laughs> I don't I don't know why. It was stupid. I just wasted a bunch of bomb arrows for no reason. I'm a fool. All right, that's another Sheikah Tower down. So hopefully I can see some shrines from here. I might not be able to. I don't really think there's any out in the open in this area. Either way, we're going to go into Korok Forest because... I know there's like four shrines in there total. All right, anything, anything at all. Show me that orange glow. Nothing besides that Sheikah Tower, but I don't really, I'm, I'm not looking for that. <laughs> the way you do this is you get a torch and you light it on fire and it goes the direct, like the, the sparks that are coming off the fire, it goes in the direction that you're supposed to like walk in. There should be a torch up here. I think, but I suppose we'll find out. Yes, there's, all right, but we need to sacrifice one of our weapons, unfortunately. Oh, no, we don't. I have a, I have a free space. Sick. Torch. All right. Guide me. This way. Odd. Still this way. If you screw up, you'll just be sent back to the beginning. Oddly enough, though, my first playthrough of this, I didn't even realize the fire was part of it. So I found the way through trial and error. <laughs> I just started walking through the forest and I eventually found it. I don't know how I did it, but I did. Ah, I think this is it right here. I have found it. Hey, here's the Master Sword, but we can't get it yet. Because we're literally just going to freaking die. I'm pr I've never actually picked it up before, getting the hearts. Let's see what... Let's get the shrine and then see what happens. <laughs> I don't want to be teleported out of this place and have to come back or anything. Alright, let's get this shrine. This one, uh, it's a little bit confusing. It's a bit weird. But you just have to, like, match some, like, stars, some constellations up on a wall with, like, some pedestals that you put some balls in. So, yeah, up there. Basically, you need to count up. So, there's a, the little constellation right there on the far right. You need to look at the wall and see how many there are. There's one, two, three, four, five. So then you take a ball, and you put it at the one with the five lanterns. Boom. Easy. Next one is the two. 
set of two. So there's one, two, three. That's it. Put that in there. We got the complicated one, which there's only one of those. And I believe there's only two of the last one as well. Yeah, one, two. So we got one. And we got two. Thank you very much. Puzzle solved. So we got 12 orbs. Uh, so that's worth three hearts. We currently have six. So we'll be brought up to nine. I could probably just call this an episode. I'm going to I'm gonna see what happens with this sword thing. I see if I actually freaking die. <laughs> I'll grab the hearts, convert the spirit orbs into hearts, and then I'll just end off this segment. And then next episode, we'll get the next shrines and we'll bring us up to 12 hearts. And then the episode after that, we'll attempt to get towards the last divine beast. All right. Let's see, do we actually die from this, or does it just bring us down to, like, quarter of a heart? Oh, there's a memory. Let's skip it. <laughs> Let's also skip this. All right. What's gonna happen? Let's pull it. Ugh. Pull it real hard. Oh. We don't die. Ha ha ha. I swear I thought you just died. I never tried it before, but I thought uh, somebody told me that you died at some point. Guess not. I don't know why I sound disappointed. Like, why am I disappointed in not dying? <laughs> but right in here, there's this place. We can convert our spirit orbs. Heart container. Yes. Heart container. Yes. Okay. We now have nine hearts. Three more heart containers, and we will be on our way to getting the Master Sword. Heck yeah. So that's where we're going to leave this part off. Like I said at the beginning, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It'll help out the channel a lot. And I will see you all in the next one.